Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you were doing well. This is going to be a review of a product that was sent to me by Influencer. Influencer is a company that works with people that have public social media accounts, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. They're a company that will send you products for free in exchange for your honest review. I've been working with Influencer for several years now and I personally love that. I love the idea. I'm not on any PR list. I'm not the kind of YouTuber that gets boxes and boxes of product sent to my doorstep um, with no questions asked. It doesn't work like that for me. I am pretty small peanuts when it comes to the beauty community, but with Influencer, I can kind of feel like I'm a big time YouTuber because a box shows up at my door with this fabulous product. Sometimes it's fabulous, sometimes it's not. But anyways, I love Influencer. It's a lot of fun for me. It's not for everyone, but I will leave my link to the Influencer um, app or website down below. And if you're interested in joining, you can check it out. But today I am reviewing this product right here. It's from Givenchy. I feel very fancy just saying the words Givenchy. And I could be saying it wrong, but I'm gonna keep saying it that way. So if I'm saying it wrong, feel free to correct me down below. But this is my first ever Givenchy product. I've never used one of their products before. I've coveted them, but this is my first time actually using a Givenchy product. This is the Prisma Libre Powder. I am going to be giving you some details about this product and I'm also going to demonstrate how I've been applying it for the past two weeks while trying this out. But basically, this is a matte finish and enhanced radiance loose powder. Now, I kind of was under the impression that this might be a new product to their line because I'd never heard of it before. I'm not really following these high-end beauty companies. But apparently this has been around since 2006, so I don't know if they're trying to um, create some buzz around this product or what. Apparently it's done really well. According to the Sephora website, this is Givenchy's best-selling product worldwide. So I don't think it's struggling at all, but I don't know. They've sent it out to a bunch of influencers for review and I received shade number two. This does come in six different shades and I received shade number two, which is specifically for fair to light skin tones. So it has a twist off cap. It's a plastic container, nothing too fancy about the packaging. I mean, it's nice, but it's not like amazing. It comes with a powder puff in the middle and when you lift the powder puff, you can see that there are four different toned powders in each quadrant of this package. I don't know if you could see that at all because my lighting, but um, this is more of a yellowy shade. This is more of a peachy shade. This is more of a pinky shade and this is more of a lilac shade. So according to their website, it states that this is a color correcting loose powder with four harmonious shades that tailor to the skin for a smooth matte finish. It says that two of the shades are color correcting shades and two of them are radiant shades. The directions state to shake and mix the shades together, buff it into the whole face with a powder brush, and then use the powder puff to reapply for touch-ups during the day. This retails at Sephora's website for $58, which is not cheap. You get 0.42 ounces and, or 14 and a half milliliters of product in here. If I was to compare this to my current all-time favorite loose powder, the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, um, it's a better deal to go with the Laura Mercier. The Laura Mercier gives you more than double the product for $39. So the Laura Mercier is one ounce even according to their label, and this one's 0.42 ounces. So this is not the best value, but that being said, there's still a ton of product in here and I'm sure it will last me forever. And I definitely think there is a market and a crowd for these high-end brands and products. So if this is your jam, you know it. And if it's not, you also know that. Comparatively, a very popular drugstore loose powder is the Maybelline Fit Me, and you could get 0.7 ounces, which is like, 50% more product for $7.99. So 
I guess you need to know what your price range is and what you're willing to spend for a loose powder. Now, everything I could find on this product is matte, 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 matte. And I would say that most loose powders do mattify. That's kind of what their job is. But what I didn't see mentioned anywhere in any description of this product is the glitter in here. There is glitter in here, which I know is going to be very disappointing to so many of you who do not want glitter in your matte products. So I wanted to talk about that. And for this demonstration, I obviously have all my makeup on, but I did not put any powder highlight on so that you could possibly see the glitter. So we'll see if the glitter will pick up on my iPhone or if it won't, but I wanted to talk about that because I think that's a huge deal. Other than that, I think this product worked fine. It's a good product, it's very nice, but the glitter man, when I saw that, I thought, oh, you sneaky son of a gun. I also wanted to do this to show you this. Do you see how the holes are punched out in the Givenchy logo shape? Look at this. These are the things that make me happy. That's fun. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to blend out, but I had to show you guys that because, you know, look at me. But now that I've showed you that, I'm going to shake this around a bit like the directions say. So I'm going to turn this upside down with the cap back on and shake some of it out into that top part and get it really mixed up, hopefully. Oh yeah, plenty of powder in there now. And it seems to be shaken up quite well. And I'm going to take a brush like the direction said. This brush looks like a pretty good powder brush. This is the Morphe G7. I don't use it that regularly. And I'm going to start with just the product that's in the lid and buff that around on the brush. And I'm going to dust that all over my face where I would normally use any kind of a setting powder. I have already set my under eyes with my Laura Mercier. I have to do that right away because my concealer will crease. So I did already do that, but otherwise I haven't applied any powder to my face. Okay, so the product that's in the cap is gone. I don't want to dip into this thing because that's way too much. Let me, okay, so I'm, I dipped into the main part and now I'm tapping it off in the cap. Kind of like how they do for Bare Minerals. Oh, look at that. Automatic. Gave myself a nice clean line. Oh my God, he's heading towards you. One more, just for good measure. Ow. Okay, so I have applied a light dusting of this powder all over my face, on my forehead, my cheeks, particularly the lower part of my cheeks, around my mouth, around my nose. Uh, I wonder if it's going to pick up the glitter. The, now, this powder is very, very finely milled, and the glitter is very small and tiny too, but I can definitely see glitter in here. And maybe that glitter just creates that look of radiance that so many people love in a powder, and maybe that's part of the positives of this, but I just wanted to say that I sure can see glitter in this product when I put it on my skin. I don't feel like the camera's picking up on it at all. It just looks really matte. Is that a fuzz? Ugh. I don't know if this did much color correcting either. I still have some redness peeking through around my nose. Some darkness on my upper lip that shows up every summer like clockwork. I think it's melasma. I've never been properly diagnosed by a dermatologist, but I can only assume it's melasma. But yeah, I don't feel like... I don't know if it's really doing a whole lot more than any other setting powder 
and it's quite pricey. But that is the product. This is my review. Would I recommend it? Only if you can afford it. I don't know if I could say that I would be running out to purchase this if I ever use this up because I don't know if it's doing that much for me, but I also can't say a single bad thing about this powder either. I think it's just a matter of if you can afford it and if you're willing to spend that kind of money on a luxury powder. There is a scent to this product. It is extremely subtle. It's not offensive at all to me, at least. Floral, maybe? Yeah. I think it has a very light floral scent, nothing cloying or sickening, um, but I should mention that too. It does have a light floral scent that I don't mind at all, but some people may be sensitive to. Okay guys, that's it for this review of the Prisma Libre powder. I hope this information was helpful. Do with it what you want. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you would consider subscribing because it would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.